Hello everybody, this is Mrs. Wyatt here. Um, I am going to give you your lesson um, for American mythology. So we are going to start American mythology, which is um, popular stories that we as Americans um, tell or that are in our culture. And we are going to talk about those, but we're gonna start today with vocabulary first. And I know that you're familiar with this format, so please make sure you go on Google Classroom and find the April 13th vocabulary note sheet. And I want you to copy these down, okay? Here we go. So our first word is the word traditional. And traditional means that it is something that is used or talked about a lot. Um, it is traditional for a married person to wear a wedding ring. That's, a, that's something that is followed a lot, something that a lot of people do. Um, it's also traditional maybe when you go to church to dress nicely, right? Like everyone mostly who goes to church will wear a nice outfit and look their best. It's traditional at Christmas time sometimes to give a gift to someone. Um, that's what traditional means. It's something that is done a lot or done um, on a regular basis, usually for a specific culture or group of people. The next word is exaggerated. Exaggerated is when something is made up to be more than it really is. So my example sentence says, the boys exaggerated the size of the bear. It wasn't really 50 feet tall. So you see this picture, you've got a picture of a man and a bear, and a bear is really, you know, still pretty tall, but not as tall as maybe this man or this boy would tell you if you told the story. So when you're exaggerating something or something is exaggerated, it is really, really blown out of proportion. Meaning like, you know, if I say, oh, I ate everything last night, I didn't actually eat everything. I'm exaggerating. I'm exaggerating to show that I'm really hungry and maybe I ate a lot. Number three, the word is undeveloped. So undeveloped can have a lot of meanings, but the meaning we're going to use in the story is the meaning of not made into a city or town surrounded by trees in nature. So you see the picture there as of an undeveloped piece of land. Um, there are no roads, there's no pavement, lots of trees and grass. That's what undeveloped means. So my example, the pilgrims lived in undeveloped places while they were making their cities. So um, again, places out in nature, there weren't a lot of towns, it was just very undeveloped. Number four is the word, well, it's actually two words, steel driver. So a steel driver is a worker who cut holes in rocks with um, hammers to make railroads. So back a long time ago when railroads were first invented in um, the early 1900s, late 1800s, that time period, we would have people who were steel drivers and they would have to cut holes in the rocks and put uh, metal spikes in there so they can lay down the railroad tracks. We're going to read about a man named John Henry in uh, next class. John Henry was a hardworking steel driver for the railroad company. And then here's a picture of him with his hammer. And he's hammering or hitting um, those spikes into the rock. Number five, that word is extend. Extend means to make something longer. So my picture there is of two arrows trying to extend um, the size of this, um, this, this square there. So my Example is the railroad companies had to extend the railroads so the trains could go all over the country. That's what extend means. It means to make longer. Now I would like for you to go down to the bottom of your vocabulary paper and try the vocabulary exercises in your note sheet. And then pause this video while you do that and come back and check your answers here and we'll go through them to make sure you have them right, just like we do in class. 
Okay, hopefully you have done your exercises. Here are the answers. Number one. John Henry worked as a steel driver, so his job was to cut holes in rocks with hammers for the railroad companies. So we know steel driver is a worker who cuts holes in rocks, right? So that's how we know that that's the right answer. Number two, it takes a long time to extend your hair, so make sure you tell the person cutting your hair how long you want it so it is not too short. Okay, so one way that you could tell that this word has to be extend is that it talks about something being long and short, right? So anytime we're talking about something being longer or how long you want something to be, or it takes a long time to extend your hair because your hair has to grow, so it takes a long time to grow back, that's that word extend. Number three, cartoons always show exaggerated things, like a character's face turning red when it is hot, or a character running faster than a normal person would. So exaggerated means more than normal, right? Like we take something, we exaggerate it, we make it more um, crazier than normal. Number four, you can build a new house on undeveloped land but there will be a lot of trees and rocks to move. So again, we know that undeveloped land or an undeveloped place has lots of nature and trees and rocks in it. So it's, you know, it's, it's not as easy to build on undeveloped land. Number five, it is traditional for boys to ask girls to the homecoming dance, but sometimes girls will ask boys instead. So we know it's traditional because it talks about something that is, <coughs> excuse me, that is done often, that is done a lot. Um, traditional doesn't always necessarily mean that it's what everyone does, but it's what a lot of people do. And that's right here. We talk about boys ask the girls to the homecoming dance that's traditional, right? And I don't know if that's traditional anymore, but um, it used to be very traditional for boys to ask the girls to the dance. Okay, at the bottom of your notes paper, you will see a link on your vocabulary document to practice your vocabulary on Quizlet. And the next time I'm going to read a story along with you called John Henry.